But we begin this morning with breaking news overnight. At least two people were killed when the upper floor of a nightclub collapsed in the city of Gwaju, about 150 miles south of Seoul, South Korea. Cell phone video from inside the club shows how people were literally holding up the balcony at one point to prevent it from falling. It's believed as many as 16 others were injured, including four American athletes who were among those competing at the World Swimming Championships. Kenneth Craig is here with more. Kenneth, good morning. Well, good morning to you, Michelle. Those four American athletes who were injured were members of the U.S. water polo team. They were there celebrating when the balcony collapsed without any warning. And now South Korean officials believe that the club owners may have been negligent. Chaos erupts inside a South Korean nightclub as dozens appear to hold up an internal balcony as it's collapsing. Two South Korean men were killed when the structure suddenly came crashing down onto the crowd below. More than a dozen others were injured, including eight international athletes competing in the World Aquatics Championships in Guangzhou. Players from the U.S. men's and women's water polo teams were celebrating the Women's World Championship victory against Spain the day before. American Kaylee Gilchrist of the women's water polo team suffered a deep leg laceration and underwent surgery at a hospital in Guangzhou. Three of her U.S. teammates are recovering from minor injuries. FINA, the international governing body for aquatic sports, says it is monitoring the situation and providing assistance as needed. The U.S. water polo team says all of its athletes are safe and accounted for. Police have detained two co-owners of the nightclub and two workers who are being questioned about whether or not the structure was legally added to the nightclub. So scary. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're glad it's not worse. It's right. very sad, obviously, and people lives were lost and people hurt, but glad it's what not a blow. worse. Yeah. Especially when you think about how many people were inside at the time. Yes, exactly. indeed. Kenneth, thank you very much.